Hello and welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are discussing the IIT JAMP 2020 Mathematical Statistics paper. Now in this question we are given let alpha and beta be two real numbers and the expression this one limit extending to zero is equal to beta and we are asked to find the value of alpha plus beta. Now for very small x or x tending to zero we can write sin x approximately equal to x and tan x also approximately equal to x because these are very small values and both the series of sin and tan will uh, almost be equal to x for very very small values of x. So using this we can write this as beta equal to limit extending to 0 in the numerator we have tan 2x that can be written as 2x and then we have 2 sin alpha x which can be written as minus 2 alpha x and in the denominator we have x and 1 minus cos 2x can be written as 2 sin square x 2 sin square x which is equal to limit extending to 0 2 x into 1 minus alpha in the numerator and in the denominator we have x and instead of sin x I can write x again so 2 x square so now I can simplify this and get 1 minus alpha over x square limit extending to 0 this is equal to beta so therefore we can see that the numerator is a constant term so we can rewrite this as 1 minus alpha is equal to beta into limit x tending to 0 x square so therefore if we put the value of x equal to 0 here this becomes 0 so alpha is equal to 1 so we got the value of alpha now. Now we have to find the value of beta. So in order to find the value of beta, we have to actually find the limit of the function. Now, we notice that the function is of the form 0 by 0. Why? Because tan 2x is 0 at x equal to 0, sine of alpha x is 0 at x equal to 0 and we have x in the denominator so this makes it in the form 0 by 0 and whenever we have it in this form we apply la hospitals rule that means we'll have to differentiate the numerator and the denominator so then we can write beta is equal to limit extending to 0 Differentiating the numerator will give us differential of tan 2x which is 2 sec square 2x minus differential of 2 sin alpha x so which is 2 alpha cos alpha x and we differentiate the denominator so differential of x is 1 so 1 into 1 minus cos 2x 1 minus cos 2x plus x into differential of 1 minus cos 2x is 2 sin 2x so we got the differential but even after getting the differential we are still uh, stuck with the problem of having a zero in the denominator now how do we proceed from here so first of all we found the value of alpha equal to 1 so let's put that here so beta is equal to limit x tending to 0 2 sec square 2x minus 2 cos x divided by 1 minus cos 2x will be 2 sin square x plus 2x into sin 2x sin 2x so now 
we remove the common uh, factor which is 2 in both numerator and denominator so we can simplify this limit extending to 0 sex square 2x minus cos x over sine square x plus x sine 2x now we can write sex square 2x as 1 plus tan square 2x so we can simplify this limit extending to 0 1 plus tan square 2x minus cos x over sin square x plus x sin 2x now we can write 1 minus cos x 1 minus cos x we can take this and write this as 2 sin square x by 2 we can we can do that so then the the uh, expression becomes equal to limit x tending to 0 we take 1 minus cos 2x as 2 sin square x by 2 so 2 sin square x by 2 plus tan square 2x over sin square x plus x sin 2x now we will again apply the uh, logic of sin x is equal to or roughly equal to x for x tending to 0 and tan x is also equal to x for x tending to 0. So therefore we can write this as equal to limit x tending to 0 2 sin square x by 2 means 2 sin x by 2 whole square or instead of sin x by 2 we'll write only x by 2 so x by 2 whole square plus tan square of 2x tan square of 2x means tan of 2x whole square so instead of tan of 2x we'll write 2x whole square and in the denominator instead of sin square x we'll write x square plus x into sin 2x will replace it with 2x so this becomes equal to limit x tending to 0 2 2 x square by 4 plus 4 x square over x square plus 2 x square is 3 x square so this is nothing but limit x tending to 0 we can cancel out the x squares so 2 by 4 is half so half plus 4 by 3 which is not dependent on x anymore so we don't need this so this would be 4 and a half means 9 by 2 over 3 so we can cancel 3 and 9 and we get 3 by 2 so this is equal to 3 by 2 so that means beta which which was the limit of the function x tending to 0 that we started with comes out to be 3 by 2 and we already found the value of alpha as 1 so alpha plus beta will be 3 by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 5 by 2 so option D is the correct answer.